No, I'm not a financial advisor. You need to do your own homework. This is for educational and entertainment purposes only. And all this kind of things. And I learned different things throughout the way, right? These past three months. It's been like a preacher again. So, I initially had a few stocks. And then I put more money into it. And then I bought um, a, few, a few more stocks. I bought stuff um, that... I thought that would just do well just because, right, I was looking at the history of the stock and um, according to the app, right, that was it. So, and then I'm, I'm really into um, real estate. Those of you who know, right now I'm going for my um, certification in real estate so I can go for my real estate license. So, real estate is kind of like my career path choice. And so, I figured I would get a bunch of companies that do was called REITs, which are real estate investment trusts. And I had a big um, stock. I paid $402 for that stock. And I had about eight real estate stocks at once. Right? So all this is in, is included in um, the, the total amount of money that I have invested still. Right? And so... Once you get on it, you will see how you can move your stocks and how your money moves according to your stocks, right? So, um, I had a lot of real estate investment um, or real estate trust stocks for a little while. And then I kept reading articles and stuff and then it was like, well, um, you don't need so many you don't need so many stocks. You don't need to diversify that much or whatever the case may be. You can just be successful with a few stocks. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. And then, according to um, Vlad, how he put it was, you know, when he had a lot of stocks back in the days, he was like, his money was stretched, basically, to whereas if you have, let's say, for an example, if you have 20 to 30 stocks, and let's say, out of the 30 stocks you have, let's say um, 12 of them are doing good, but the other, what, um, 18 or whatever it may be, yeah, 18 are, do, are doing bad, and so you're going to lose a lot of money quickly. Especially if you're trying to um, put money into each stock, you know what I'm saying? So you can have more shares of that stock. So it can get kind of difficult and your money can go really fast. And that's basically how I looked at it from when he was telling, when he was explaining how having a lot of stocks is not really, um, really good for a profile, you know? And so I said, okay, so I got rid of a bunch of my real estate investment stocks. I got down to maybe like six. Then I was talking to my nephew. And when I say my nephew, he's older than me. He's a nephew through marriage, but that's another um, topic for a different time. Um, shout out to my nephew. And he was showing me a couple stocks that he was potentially looking at. And so I eventually bought into those two stocks or bought those two stocks. Uh, uh, included with my um, big real estate and stock that I had, the 402 one, and I had a smaller real estate stock. So then I went from six and I got rid of um, four of them. Then I had two and I bought the other two that he was talking about. So then I had four. And I was like, okay, now I'm good because Vlad only got four, so I'm only going to have four. Then I have four stocks, right? And so then I kept reading, doing more research, and I came across another dude um, his name is Phil Towns. I suggest, highly suggest you guys look him up. Phil Towns, and he he has this whole uh, you know, stock thing that he does or whatever, in his system. And so, um, he basically showed me, or I learned from him how to actually look at a stock and how to break a stock down and what numbers to look for and use in a certain system in order to get a certain percentage or potential percentage back uh, from a from a stock right so 
And also I learned that, you know, just to do your homework and it's like how important it is to do your homework with these stocks. And like Phil goes real deep into like doing the homework of stocks. So once I started doing my homework for my two, for, for the four stocks that I had, um, I had two, I'm going to call them two tech stocks and my two real estate stocks. And what I discovered was, dog, none of these stocks I have are good. Like one of my um, tech stocks was on a potential of being a good buy, but it was already overpriced. And I was like, man, I don't have no good stocks. So during this time, as far as money goes, stock was going up, it was going down, it was going up, it was down, 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 up, down. So I was like, man. And so it's, it's expected for those things to happen in stocks. But as far as um, really believing in the stocks that you are acquiring, it's more important after you do your research and you understand what the company is really about. So after I discovered that all my stocks I had were garbage basically except for one of them, I sold off my big stock, my big real estate stock, and I sold my other three stocks as well. Um, and I end up getting new stock, right? By implementing what Phil Towns said in his system and also um, doing my homework, using his system and my own personal you like beliefs. And I use those now as far as my criteria to buy stock. And also Vlad and um, Vlad's strategy of how he buys stock, right? So, I implement those two, um, I don't want to say religions, <laughs> uh, those two systems and my own personal profile. And so now I only have three stock. And I will tell you what they are. Right? The number one stock I have, and I'm saying number one just to say number one, is Walgreens. Walgreens is one. My second stock, which is real estate, is KB Home. My third and final stock is Facebook. And so I've had those three stocks only for about five days. But the difference between those three stocks and the other stocks I had in the past is that I actually done my homework. I implemented these different systems that show me that these stocks right now are a bargain. You know what I'm saying? And that the potential for the next 10 years is very, very good. Um, so I'm rocking with those three right now in the future. I'm close to it. I want to buy one share of Google to start off with, of course. Um, Google's running at a thousand dollars a share. So I, I definitely want to get one to Google and then I think I'll stop. But I said all, I said that little part to uh, let you guys know that um, you don't need a lot of stocks in order to be successful in the stocks. Now you say, well, how can you say that? And you're still down $2 or what is it? $2 and 71 cents. Um, because, and you'll see when you get the app that I have more money available that's in my buying power that's on the app. It's like $30 that I haven't put or bought a share with. Um, and I had those free, uh, that free money that I got from those other stocks that's also implemented within my, um, my total amount of money that I have invested in those three stocks. So, man, it's, 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 it's I'm loving it actually, man. So, um, I was, it's funny because the last three days been kind of weird because, um, the first day I was down, I was down like 8%. I'm talking about when I got these last three stocks, I was down 8% and then I went up and I actually was up 1.23%. Uh, and then I went down like, um, 1.15%. And then I went up like 1.6%. 
And now today I'm down like um, 1.10% or something. But all in all, man, um, it's exciting. And your first quarter, quarter to three months, every three months is a quarter. Um, this is my first quarter from October 20th to December 20th. I would say all in all, um, I'm down $2. But I feel like the, the next quarter is going to be amazing because I'm sticking with these stocks. I'm buying more shares of them. I know these are great stocks because I've done my homework. And I know what I'm looking for. So I'm, I know what percentages I'm looking for. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I just want to encourage you guys who are thinking about getting into stocks. to um, You can do it. You don't have to have a lot of money to do it. And... It could be beneficial. And I also wanted to add that, you know, you never you you never know something until you actually try it. So, like, you can read all the books you want about stocks, about investing, about Warren Buffett, about um, even uh, Phil Town. You can read all these different kind of books. You can read uh, Dummies for, real, for, for Investments, Dummies for Stocks. You can read all those books. But until you actually create an account... Put some money on the line. Do your research about these different type of things and understand why you're buying this stock or this company or a piece of this company. Then, you know, the advice that you get from anybody, whether it's a top person in, in Wall Street or somebody who off the street like me, you have to do it yourself. You know what I mean? Like, you don't need no big brokerage firm. You don't need no... A financial advisor you can just do it yourself and then you'll learn best like that and then you can play around with it what you like what you don't like like I am so the first three months man have, have been exciting actually and another thing that I've learned actually in these last three months is that you can save a lot of money if you are interested in something like because the fact that I was able to put out $850 into this app into the stocks Within three months, it's like, man, I didn't know I could, you know, I didn't know I could uh, say this. I'm saying say this much money, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't know I could say this much money that quickly, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because something that happened, like, I'll be riding, and then we'll pass by McDonald's. I'll be like, man, I'm hungry. Should I go get some McDonald's? How much I'm going to spend at McDonald's? Like, $6. Get my phone out. Take that six dollars, transfer it from my checking account, from my bank account, and put it on my Robinhood app. Boom. Okay, so that happened once. Then that happened twice. Okay, then a couple weeks later I get paid. Then it's like take that extra with that hundred and put that all on this stock. It's like, and then that money add up so quick. It's like I didn't know I could say that much money. Or you see a stock and you want to buy real quick. You're like, man, I want this stock. It costs thirty dollars. You're like, man, thirty dollars. And then you think about it. You're like. Okay, let me buy one share at least. Boom, you get one share of it. Then you go home, do your research about it, read about it. And if you don't like it, you can sell it. You might sell it at, you might end up selling that stock at a loss. But you got that money in that account for later on when you want to buy something else. So that's just, you know, one thing to think about while you're doing this, man. And uh, I'm going to end this video.